Hey guys, welcome to the video that all of you have been waiting for. It's the complete Bitsat preparation guide. This video has been made by Parth. Parth is a student at Bits Pilani Pilani. He studies CS and he has an amazing Bitsat score. और उसको ये पेपर के बारे बारे में ऑलमोस्ट सब कुछ पता है सो एन्जॉय दिस वीडियो आई रेकमेंड यू टू टेक नोट्स पेन और पेपर हाथ में रखो और नोट्स लो क्योंकि दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज गोन बी वेरी वेरी वैल्यूएबल बाय द वे रेड वुल्फ सेंट मी दिस अमेजिंग एवेंजर्स का टी शर्ट इफ यू गाइज आर एन एवेंजर्स फैन इफ यू गाइज अ मावल फैन इफ यू गाइज आर अ फैन ऑफ एनी कॉमिक दैन यू शुड गो रेड वुल्फ डॉट कॉम एंड चेक आउट दर अमेजिंग रेंज ऑफ टी शर्ट्स and plus you can use the code given in the description to get a 15% off now let's get back to the actual video watch it completely hello everyone i'm parth i'm currently pursuing my undergraduate degree in computer science from bits pilani pilani campus i gave my bits at in the year 2019 and i scored 388 marks in the exam today i'm going to be sharing my thoughts on how to prepare for the bits at examination Before we start talking about how to prepare for the BITSAT, let's talk a little bit about the BITS campuses itself. Billa Institute of Technology and Science, Pilani, is a higher higher education and research institute in India. It has three campuses all over India, namely at Pilani, Goa, and Hyderabad. The courses offered at the undergraduate level are mainly BE and B Pharma. In BE, almost all major disciplines of engineering are covered, with a few exceptions like manufacturing being offered only at the pilani campus and civil not being offered at the goa campus apart from that all the campuses are academically the same also the degree awarded at all the three campuses will be the same bits was ranked 39th in the nirf ranking in 2019 but i would request you to not take these ranks at their face value these taken to these consider a lot of different variables which usually don't matter to us according to me bits is among a tiny group of institutions which offer considerable competition to the iits the difficulty level of the questions in bitsat is easier than that at j mains but bitsat has 150 questions with 12 bonus questions while j mains only has 75 questions that's why bitsat is more about your speed and accuracy than your j mains also um, bitsat the marking scheme at bitsat is a lot more damaging than the one at j mains the plus 3 minus 1 will definitely affect your score if you don't manage your negative marking well you will realize these while solving mock tests for the bitsat examination about the bitsat examination well bitsat has four sections namely physics chemistry mathematics and english and logical reasoning we will now go into the depth of each of the following sections and how to prepare for them now let's talk about who should prepare for the bitsat examination first of all if you have scored above 99 percentile in this year's j mains i'll suggest you not to specifically prepare for bitsat but focus more on your j advanced preparations and just solve a few mock tests before the bitsat examination and you will be set for bitsat another group of students who should prepare for bitsat are those who want to study computer science and know that the preparation is not well enough to get them seats at the top 5 iits for these students bitsat provides a wonderful opportunity to study computer science at the bits campuses Apart from these if you have always wanted to get into bits then bitsat is probably the best option for you and there's another way to get into bits pilani which is the board topper method if you are a board topper in any of the boards recognized by bits pilani then you get direct admission into bits pilani but you have to fill the form for bitsat first that's a prerequisite for gaining admission through the board topper method The mathematics portion of the BITSAT examination has 45 questions and a vast majority of these questions will be asked from mainly two sections that is calculus and corner geometry. These will account for more than 60% of your BITSAT examination paper. So prepare these well to boost your score in mathematics. The chemistry section of the BITSAT examination will have 40 questions. These are reasonably well balanced between organic, inorganic and physical. For organic and inorganic 
please read the NCRT word by word as many theoretical questions are directly asked from the NCRT. But the syllabus of chemistry is not restricted to NCRT. That is, many reactions which are not present in the NCRT but have been asked in the JEE advanced are also included in the questions. But these will constitute a minority in the question paper, so don't bother too much about them. The physics section of the BITSAT examination will have 40 questions and majority of the questions from class 12th will be asked from electrostatics and current electricity while from class 11th will be asked from heat and thermodynamics. I will be attaching a link to all previous analysis of all three subjects in the description box. Please check that out. The English proficiency and logical reasoning section of the BITSAT examination has 25 questions out of which 15 will be asked from English proficiency and 10 from logical reasoning. The English proficiency section will include questions from collective noun, grammar, comprehension and vocabulary, while the logical reasoning section will be similar to the questions asked in NTSC and other related Olympiads. Now let's talk about the resources that can be used to prepare for the BITSAT examination. As far as books are concerned, the BITSAT preparation guide from Arihant and Sengage are both equally good, but Arihant has a slight edge when it comes to content presentation. For English, Renan Martin is a suggested reading if you don't want to lose out marks in the grammar section. Also for English and logical reasoning, there is a book by Disha Publications which is also uh, a suggested reading. Now for the test series, after consultation with my batchmates at Pilani, we have ranked test series as follows. Number one is the test series provided by DoPrep. Number two, Math on Go. And at number three, we have Allen and Resonance, both at the same level. Test series will be one of the most important parts of your preparation. So please give them sincerely. Now let's talk about the time management aspect of the BITSAT examination. According to me, you should spend 30 minutes for chemistry, 55 minutes for mathematics and 45 minutes for physics and 20 minutes for the English and logical reasoning section. The remaining 30 minutes should be used for reviewing all the questions and deciding whether to go for the bonus questions or not. Let's talk about the bonus questions that are available in the BITSAT examination. If you mark all 150 questions, then a section is unlocked which is called the bonus questions. There are four questions each from physics, chemistry and mathematics. If you have marked around 145 questions and have five questions remaining, I will suggest you to mark these by intelligent guessing and then go for the bonus questions and try to cover the negative marking in these sections. I would like to end by saying that don't take too much pressure for these examinations. Enjoy these days of your preparation as you will probably never study with this much intensity while you are in college. I hope you all get the colleges you deserve and if you do happen to come to BITS, we will definitely meet up and have fun. If you have any other doubts, please make sure to leave them in the comment section. I will be more than happy to answer your doubts. And also, if you have any questions, then leave them in the comment section down below. I will respond to them and even Parth will try to respond to them. And if nothing works out, then you can DM me on Instagram if you have any sort of issues. I mostly respond to all Instagram DMs. Hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this video, then please subscribe, hit the notification button, do all those jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Have a nice day.